Hello everyone, I'm here to show you how to navigate through your learning units. The learning unit, units contain the content for each chapter test. Um, so the videos and the homework and the what we call quick quizzes that will guide you through the material and allow you to master the material. Okay, so these are essential and they are tracked so I understand what you're doing. All right, so I'm just going to click on one learning unit. Let's go to learning unit three. Okay, so I've set up each uh, learning unit the same way. You'll see the chapter folders for the learning unit. So within three, you'll have chapter 15, 16, and 17 on the test. Now, I don't always cover everything that's in the chapter, so you're going to watch the chapter overview um, those are typically two to three minutes long explaining what's in the chapter and what will be um, the content that's on your test. So I might skip a section um, or I might abbreviate a section that's important for you to, to see right away. And then it gives you an idea of what you're going to be learning about. And that's also emphasized in the learning outcome. Um, the PowerPoint notes are provided in PDF format, as is the textbook. When you're trying to print these, you want to save link as instead of just click on it, because that'll allow you to open it in Adobe rather than opening it in an internet window, which depending on the way you have your uh, computer set up, it could actually open up in an internet window. Now it's in PDF because that allows you to view it on your phone. However, I highly recommend, highly recommend that you print the textbook. Um, put the three-hole punch in it, um, do two-sided, it's fairly cheap. Um, and that way you can physically highlight and go through the content um, as you go through the lectures. Okay, this is actually extremely important. The textbook is also available within MindTap and you can print from there, but you can't print the entire chapter at once. Now, as far as printing the PowerPoint notes, you can print those in um, handout format and I'll show that in a separate video. And handout format would allow you to um, write information next to the pictures of the slides. Okay, so these are the notes provided by the textbook authors. I might change those notes slightly when I do my um, videos. Okay, so the lecture videos and the activities are in the folders by date. Okay, so sections 15.1 to 15.2 are due by March 12th. 15.3 uh, is due by March 13th. Everything is set for midnight. Um, so in order to access the activities, you gotta go one more click. Okay, so the types of activities within um, the section folder include the lecture videos, um, the activities within the textbook, which include the activities within the chapter and the mastery after the chapter. And then I include quick quizzes, which are designed to test your, um, test your competency on the concept in a format that will be likely on your full quizzes that are weekly and your exams. Okay, so you may um, complete the MindTap assignments and then see a multiple choice question and really not know how to translate that into that format. So these quick quizzes have unlimited tries. Um, the due date will allow, after the due date, you'll be allowed to see the key. Uh, before that, you will only know if you got it right or wrong. Okay, so if you're not answering the quick quizzes uh, correctly on the first try, that means you really didn't understand the content and that allows you to um, have a warning that you need to address that with your instructor, okay, which is me. Okay, so this is the format. At the end of this, there are additional videos. These are um, more professionally produced videos from a colleague of mine who is currently the chair of chemistry at University of Virginia. Um, so Dean Harmon, Dr. Dean Harmon is one of the, um, the lecturers here, as well as Dr. Lee, who's at Virginia Tech. Uh, the only um, issue with the videos is they are in order of topic, and they are not necessarily um, 
the way that your book presents it. And students tend to prefer me lecturing, so I produce my own videos that are directly from the notes that are for your actual textbook. I have adapted them in some cases. Okay, so that's how you're going to navigate your learning units. The MindTap links, the uh, videos, and the quick quizzes, which are three or fewer questions. Most of the time, they're just one question. Okay, it looks like a lot of material, but they're very, very short, and they're designed to be in the time frame of two hours. Um, if you are slower or faster, really depends on the student. So two to four hours is the average uh, for a particular um, uh, folder, okay? So that's how you navigate through your content.